There is no question 2K caught all of the wrestling fans' eyes when they said WWE 2K21 will not be made and is cancelled. Instead, they are giving us an arcade version of 21 and drawing away from the simulation genre. Like I said at the beginning, it caught a lot of eyes, but some of those are split between good and bad. Some fans hate the idea of an arcade game and some fans can't wait to play. With two days to go, I'm going to throw in everything I know about this game to determine whether WWE 2K Battlegrounds will be good or bad. My name is I King Skies, and this is Will WWE 2K Battlegrounds Be Good or Terrible? <laughs> I am the stone in the building of the I am the visual the inspiration. They make me Battlegrounds first announcement was made short after the cancellation of 2K21. After that, people started to instantly ask questions on how this game would be trash or good. Then we started to get news. First it was the roster. The roster has 70 playable characters on the base game and 63 DLC characters without pay, so you won't need to unlock these characters. The DLC includes legends like Bret Hart, Cactus Jack, Eddie Guerrero, Goldberg, and will also include newer wrestlers like Rhea Ripley, Billy Clay, Andrade, and Angelo Dawkins. That is far more down the road though. This game will be getting pretty old, they'll probably release it to keep you interested. Some wrestlers in the base game are Sasha Banks, Roman Reigns, The Rock, AJ Styles, Bray Wyatt, and many more current stars today. Pretty much if you see them on TV today, you're probably going to see them in the game, in the base game. Now we go to the gameplay. The gameplay at first when the trailer came out, it seemed mostly entertaining. But after watching some gameplay over and over again, it's almost like a big move is happening every single minute and second of the match. And letting wrestlers like John Cena have the RKO and other superstars moves was also a complaint I heard from other YouTubers. People like The Great One said it's not really cool because you're just doing the same moves over and over and over again. But there are some bright sides to this gameplay though. With the light colorful aspect and beautiful graphics, I personally think it looks really fun and have some of the best reversals I've personally seen in a wrestling game. But as I said earlier, some people might disagree. They also say they they missed the archetypes in the game, like with All Stars. All Stars had some wrestlers where um, they were heavy and couldn't jump, and some small wrestlers were high flyer and couldn't slam big wrestlers. There's something close to that in that nature. Now, yes, the gameplay can be legendary, but most of the time, gameplay has to come with some good game modes or the game will be trash. So just imagine 2K without his my career or Call of Duty without his campaign. So let's deep dive into the game modes for 2K Battlegrounds. So far, they have given us Campaign, Exposition, 101, Tag Team, Triple Threat, Fatal 4-Way, Steel Cage, The Royal Rumble, King of the Battleground, Online Tournament, and the Battleground Challenge. Now, some of these obviously do pop out. At first, I thought the Battleground Challenge was like a championship scramble between um, online that would have been cool, I personally think. We, Speaking of Championship Scramble, we've been missing it in the WWE. I don't know why they haven't tried that again. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. The online tournament is probably where most people will be 
as well as the Battleground Challenge and King of the Battlegrounds. All three game modes are probably the big hitters in this one. Or I thought... I read the description for Battleground Challenge. Create. <clears throat> it offers you to create your creator wrestler and going through the ranks. Yeah. You'll probably play this mode for 10 minutes at most until you realize the mode is just going to have the same repeat and it's going to be kind of repetitive. It's probably just going to be you grinding through, fighting wrestlers and wrestlers and going through the ranks and earning uh, stuff and things like that uh, and rewards and unlockable characters and stuff like that. So you'll probably play that mode for 10 minutes and with your character and stuff like that and then get off at least that's what i'll probably do but one uh green light of that mode is you are able to customize your own superstar and give him his own style including brawler high flyer and technician so that will be cool we've already seen what the steel cage can do and the the rules of the steel cage i say and I'm curious about how the Royal Rumble will work because it is an arcade game, so I'm not really sure how the eliminations would work. The campaign mode sees um, gamers team up with Heyman and a legendary wrestler Stone Cold Steve Austin as they travel through the world searching for superstars for a new WWE brand gamer. For, for a new WWE brand. Gamers will play as one of the seven new characters battling WWE superstars to unlike, unlock items, characters, and power-ups. So, if you need any explaining on this one, this will basically be the campaign mode from All-Stars. You will go through and fight wrestlings according to whatever storyline in this game. It does seem like it will have something to do with brands. So maybe you could choose your own brand or create your own brand, like an arena or something like that, and fight for them. I don't know, just something I guess. Every well, everything else is pretty self-explanatory. The exp expedition, you know, one on one, you know, tag team, triple threat, fatal four way. Fatal four way will probably be the most used because it's no, nah, it'll probably be the one on one. But fatal four ways do look interesting, especially in the arcade game, like. Um, 2k battlegrounds but yeah that's, that's basically it online tournament it basically like i said self-explanatory probably be online tournaments probably be where, where the most content will come from from youtube side so without further ado let's kick into the last part of this video will 2k battlegrounds be good if you're looking for a quick game to spend your time on and looking to make content like me, then yes, it would be a good and cheap game to spend some time on. But if you're looking for anything like simulation or something to actually play, like, um, like, uh, let me say, let me tell you. This can't be the only game on your PlayStation. You're gonna have to have another game. You're, this isn't gonna be a solo game where you can spend hours and times on and learn new moves and everything, no. This is a game where you invite your friends over and say, hey, you wanna play 2K Battlegrounds? No, I guess, let me show, and then they, you guys have a, end up having a good time. These, Those are the games you play. That is what 2K Battlegrounds is for. It's not for a uh, simulation or any other reason. Um, it will probably be a horrible pickup for you if you do pick it from pick it for um, anything else than that, and you'll probably get bored of it after a couple months of playing it. But I personally think overall, yes, I think 2K Battlegrounds will be a decent game for its audience, and will probably get boring after a couple months until they release some new DLC. If you like these videos, watch more and subscribe as I will be playing 2K Battlegrounds and giving my overall opinion on it and walkthroughs. My name is I King Skies, and thanks for watching.
Facts and these bitches like life is all easy. This criminal might like my name.